Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. So as of recently with the New Age Showcase being released, there have been a ton of new players coming back to MapleStory. And one thing that most of these new players have in common is they all ask the same question, what character should I main? So in today's video, we're going to be going over everything that you should do to help push you in the direction to choosing the correct main for you. Before we get into the video, there is no correct main for you. There is no perfect main. There's always going to be another class that you may potentially want to play. There always may be a different class that you think is better than yours. So understand that there is no perfect main to pick and you're never locked into any option. And hopefully the tips and tricks given in today's video can help direct you in the right direction to choosing the correct main for you. So when choosing a main, there are a few things to understand. There's not really a ton of different categories inside of MapleStory. There's pretty much three different categories. You're either a support class, you're good at mobbing, or you're good at bossing, or you're an entire hybrid of all three of these things, and you're just an insanely god tier class. Now, obviously for everybody, not everyone wants to be an insane bosser, not everyone wants to have a class that's only good at mobbing, and not everyone wants to be a support class, but those are really the three categories of classes that are inside of MapleStory. I can totally understand why a lot of newer players get confused or get overwhelmed on what class to play, but understand it's not as big of a decision as you may think. Now, if I were a new player coming back to MapleStory and coming back to New Age and not really having a huge idea or understanding of what's going on, the first thing that I would do and I recommend for all of you to do is go on YouTube and type in MapleStory gameplay or whatever class that you're potentially interested in. Whether that be Hero, Night Lord, Demon Slayer, Mihail, whatever the case may be, go on YouTube, find a certain gameplays of these classes. On top of that, I would also go and look up guides for these classes. Try and figure out and get a better understanding of what kind of class this is. Is it a mobbing class? Is it a bossing class? Is it a support class? Is the skill gap on this class very hard to learn? I would try to find all like this baseline data about the class first. I would also go and look up videos of these classes, specifically doing bosses and specifically training. Once I kind of see how a class bosses and mobs, it definitely will give me a better understanding or a better guide of if I really want to play this class or if I'm interested in this class at all. And if I'm not, well, skip and go to the next one. Now, if you're not as much of a visual learner and you like to just talk one on one with people directly to kind of figure out if that class is good for you, I would highly, highly, highly recommend joining the Maple Central Discord, which I will link in the description down below. This is essentially a discord that is broken up into everything maple related but it is also specifically broken up into every single class discord to where they have individual discords for these classes on their own where inside of those discords they will give you a detailed breakdown of everything about the class how many keybinds it has is it a good mobber is it a good bosser is the skill ceiling very high on it pretty much every detail that you are curious for these discords will have questions to all of your answers. Even the least played classes like Blaster and Blaze Wizard all have a ton of help inside of these discords and all have a ton of people that are willing to help out and answer any questions that you have about these classes. Now, if going on YouTube and going on Discord didn't help you at all, the next best thing that I 100% would recommend is going onto Twitch and going into certain streamers' Twitch chats and asking them specific questions about classes. Not every single streamer, not every single content creator is gonna have the most knowledge about every single class out there, but they can at least give you a general idea about what that class is about. And they also may be playing or maining or submaining one of the classes that you're curious about. And then you can kind of watch that gameplay live and get a better understanding of if that class is right for you. Those are my top three things on what I would do to finding a main or trying to find that quote unquote perfect main for you. Those three avenues of places to go and look and find details and data about are gonna be the top three best places to find information about your class. But understand when you're playing MapleStory, you're gonna have to work on Legion anyway, and you're gonna kinda be pushed into the direction of almost playing every single class out there regardless. And that will give you a good idea of if something is interesting for you. You're gonna find a lot of classes that you think are really fun. And you're also gonna find a lot of classes that you think are really boring. Understand though, that classes pre level 200 are not really a good representation of what this class is about. So if you do have interest in a certain class while you're doing Legion, please make sure to do one of these three things that I listed in this video. So it'll help give you a better understanding of if this class is really a main that you would enjoy playing at a later game level. 
If you guys do have any questions about anything that I went over inside this video today, please leave them down in the comment section below. I would love to hear any questions, comments, concerns that you guys have. And also, if you're new to MapleStory or new to New Age, please consider coming over to the Twitch and asking any questions that you have. Me and Joe will always be happy to answer any questions that any new or returning players have. We always try to do our best job to help any new or returning players to have the best playing experience possible. So if you do go on Twitch, make sure to come over to the Twitch while we are live Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday and ask any questions that you have. Other than that, that is going to wrap up the rest of the video here today, guys. As always, I hope you did enjoy the video, and until next time, I will see you all in the next one. Take it easy. Peace.